radio is one of the most important outlets uh, for the media. People listen to the radio. It resonates with them. It's words that are very important. For young people, I think that now, in, in light of this tragedy, these tragic days in Paris, it's very important that they are educated and enlightened in some way about how we can avoid such tragedies in the future, how we can prevent this kind of collective grieving that's happening in France now, and this kind of suffering. Um, and anything that needs to be changed always starts with education and raising awareness. And those are the two key points for youth that we really need to focus on. We need to educate people and we need to make them aware of the situation and the dangers that we face and how we can fight against them. I, I think that um, journalists today working in conflict zones, radio journalists, television journalists, print journalists too, um, face incredible dangers. Um, it's not just the conflict itself, now we're facing the threat of reporting terrorism. And how do you report terrorism? This kind of unknown entity. Remember that radio reporters need to get quotes, they need to interview people, they need to get sounds, they need to make a story come alive through the medium of radio. And in order to do that, they need to get close to a story. Getting close to a story means you put yourself at great risk. So these are the kind of these are the kind of dilemmas we need to look at and try to resolve. Because we need to keep young reporters safe. We need to encourage their work. We need to mentor them and ensure that they learn the, the correct tenets of journalism, but at the same time being safe. We don't want to lose any more people. We want them to cover the story and get it right, but at the same time stay alive. My name is Janine Giovanni. I'm the Middle East editor of Newsweek. I'm here today to encourage all young radio journalists to keep going, to work, to get the story, and to stay safe. Thank you.